So I have this long-awaited NARS Audacious Lipstick swatch review and everything. I'm going to do lip swatches and talk to you guys about these lipsticks. I've been like talking about them and saying this is coming. I was waiting because when I went to the makeup show, I got a lot of them at a discounted price. And so I, wa I knew I wanted to get more and they're kind of expensive. So I wanted to wait till I could get them at a discount. So I have several different colors to show you and I just really wanted to talk a little bit about the formula really quick and then I'll get into swatching them. Now these retail for $32 and I believe there are 30 shades, either 20 or 30 shades. I will leave an annotation right here at how many shades there are in the line. Now they come in a little square casing like this and it has like a magnetic closure. They have NARS etched on the front right here which I will show a close up picture of but they are extremely creamy, beautiful lipsticks. Here is like the magnetic closure. The formula is hands down one of my favorite formulas. I don't know how they did it, but they have like a satin finish and they're they're supposedly like one swipe pure pigmented color. I agree with that completely. You, this is not a lipstick that you need to go root, 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 no. It's creamy, but it's very pigmented and it's one swipe. It doesn't like ball up. And I recommend not going over and over and over and over again because one pass will do the trick. So I love the lipsticks. I definitely think they are worth the $32 price tag but a lot of the colors are just slightly off in variation. So there are several colors that are my absolute favorite that I would recommend, and I will let you guys know that as I'm talking about them. The first one that I'm wearing is in Raquel, which is a color that I do recommend. I love this. It's a beautiful, like, everyday nude shade, and I just think it's amazing shade. A lot of people are talking about how some people say that these do dry out their lips. I do not find that, and I don't have, like, particularly lips that get particularly dry, um, but, I mean, I wear them, and I find they all have a very long wear time. The deeper colors stain my lips, um, but this but this shade in Raquel has been like my go-to. I've talked about it so much. So I'm just gonna get to swatching now. The point of it is I love these, I recommend them. There are a few shades that are my favorite throughout the line, and like if you have one, I don't think you need this particular shade, and I will kind of say that, but they are all beautiful. You just have to decide between some of the lighter color variations what shade like variation that you're looking for. So let's get started with the swatching and this shade right here is in Raquel and I will do like a like come in of the shade on my lips so that you can see. So here is Raquel, beautiful like I would say peachy nude shade very very I nice. I love the way that this one wears on the lips it's just that perfect peachy nude. Um, it is very light. If you're a fair skin, I think that this is a must-have. Next shade is Barbara, and as you can see, this is a little bit darker than Raquel, but it still has that peachy, a little bit more of a pink tone to it than Raquel was. This is Barbara beautiful shade. This one was sold out on Sephora's website for a very long time when they first launched. I believe it's back in stock. This shade is Anita, which is another one that I absolutely love. As you can see, it's very different from Raquel. It definitely has more pink to it than Barbara does. So Anita is a beautiful, like, deepened rose shade, but still in the nude neutral family. Pretty much like your lips, but better, but extremely pigmented. That was just one swipe. I want to swatch this for you. This is Anna, and it is a gorgeous mauve, deepened mauve shade. I love mixing Anna and Raquel together. I put Anna on the outside, or Anna, and I just love the combo, so this is like a must-have for me. As you can see, it's different than the rest of these. I love this shade in Anna. There's like an up-close, you can see the NARS etched into the lipstick. This shade is a Vanessa right here, and I'm not sure. Some of these, one of my friends picked up for me, and 
they're only sold like they're an exclusive so they're not sold at Sephora they're only sold at like NARS online and I don't know if Vanessa is but I think Vanessa and Anita are very similar like you would not need both so it's just a deeper probably just a touch deeper but definitely not enough to warrant both of them This next shade is Claudia right here, and it's a beautiful, like, bubblegum candy pink. Very, very pretty, but it comes more out of, like, the neutrals and more into the brighter shades. That is Claudia. This shade right here is Dominique. Very, very interesting mauve dusty purple shade. I picked this up at the makeup show because it was that one shade that I thought was unique and interesting um, and I thought like putting this down and then maybe topping it with like Anna like mixing these two together Anna and having just a really beautiful like purpley dark dusty lip would be beautiful. So this is Dominique. This next shade is called Fanny and it's just a rich berry shade. These are getting crooked now. Uh, it's just a rich berry shade. I love this color Fanny. Perfect for the fall. That deep berry shade. Kind of similar to Rebel but I think it has more um, purple berry tone to it. Uh, but probably very similar to, similar to Max Rebel. This shade right here is Angela, and I think this is a must-have. It's different from Claudia. It's very, it's very like radiant orchid, like very deep blue toned, but almost like a violety. Ugh, I love this shade so much. I love the, I don't know, it just looks so stunning with a simple eye, and this is a beautiful pop. Probably more of like a summer shade, but I love this shade in Angela. This shade right here is called Sylvia, and it's a little bit deeper than Angela, and a little bit more purple than Fanny, but it's a really beautiful fall, like a deeper radiant orchid shade. It's so, so pigmented and beautiful, and if this Angela is too bright for you, this might be uh, the perfect darker shade. I believe that this is an exclusive to the um, NARS store. I'm not quite sure that this one's sold on Sephora. Um, it might be, but I'm not sure. And this last shade right here is called Lana, which is a beautiful, um, vibrant, like orangey red shade more orange. I love this. Super pigmented. I cannot wait to wear this shade. But when I like tried these lipsticks, I knew I had to get the shade in orange because I just love the formula of these and that's just such a rich stunning color. So this is the shade Lana. Like I like to know in all of my videos, Please wear lip liner for the sake of this video. I wasn't, so it's hard to wipe off lip liner in every single swatch and then do a new lipstick. It would look even more jagged. So for the sake of swatching, I did not wear lip liner. So if you're going to say it was messy down below, I know, but you're just getting the overall look. If I'm wearing it out, I would clean it up. But you should wear a lip liner when you're wearing deeper colors. Even a nude would help wearing a lip liner. So I will just leave it at that. I like to do my disclaimer in every video. Okay, now that I included that, back to me in a nude lip. So from these shades, you can clearly see that some of these in the beginning, I would say like one of my favorites is Raquel. I think that that's a beautiful one, the one that I'm wearing right now. Um, Anita is another gorgeous one. Anna is beautiful. After that, it's like really your preference. If you're not into candy, bubblegum, pinky type colors, you might want to skip on Claudia. If you're, if like the dusty purple shade is just like too far out of your comfort zone, that wouldn't be one for you. Um, as for these colors down here, I love this Radiant Orchid, but if, an Angela, but if that's too uh, light for you, like I said, or too vibrant, try Sylvia, like a great uh, like little bit dulled down version of it and then this is just a beautiful shade they have so many gorgeous shades 
Um, like I said, I'll leave annotated how many are in the entire collection. I believe Sephora is only carrying part of them. I think they're carrying 20 of them, and I believe there are 30, but I'm not quite sure. And then if you're looking for a great, vibrant, like, orangey red, try that shade in Lana Out. So that is it. I hope that this was helpful. I highly recommend them. Beautiful lipsticks and worth the price tag if you can invest in one of them or put one on your Christmas list. I think that you would really enjoy the formula, and it would be worth your money. I think you'd be pleased. So I hope you found this helpful. Leave below some of your favorites, or if you have some that you didn't see or leave below which ones that you thought were um, your favorites that you saw. Thank you guys so much for watching. If I didn't answer any of your questions, go ahead and leave them down below and I will see you all in the next video. Mwah.